I think no one would argue that human beings are fundamentally hedonistic. In other words, we are wired for pleasure. We are wired to seek out experiences that reward us neurochemically and to shun experience that bring us pain, suffering, or boredom. <laughs> it is said actually that boredom can lead to incidences of depression and anxiety. An unstimulated subjectivity is a problem for human beings. Now, Jamie Wheel says that it's a fundamental miswiring of our nervous system. He says that our self systems are like leaky buckets. They're like colanders. No matter how much pleasure we're getting, we're bleeding from our many holes. And most of us become bliss junkies. We get hooked on the state without ever trying to raise the stage, which is what Jamie Wheel and Stephen Kotler propose. They propose actually transforming our self-systems from leaky buckets into, into chalices, right? So that we can render ourselves whole and maybe render ourselves holy. This kind of transhumanist approach to transforming ourselves, to become paradise engineers, to bliss ourselves out by transforming our fundamental wiring is seen as heretical by the Puritans. There's a great book called After the Ecstasy, the laundry, which of course uses the rationalist argument that no matter how transcendental certain peak experiences in our lives are to define what it's all about, to carve our North Star, we should nonetheless get comfortable with the after effect, with the come down, after the ecstasy, the laundry. Go back to fetching water and chopping wood, you know? I've always felt, what do you do after a mystical experience? What do you do after a cosmic orgasm? What do you do after becoming one with everything? fetching water and chopping wood. And I guess what I'm saying is that I don't agree with that Puritan mindset of accepting that transcendence has to be temporary, that our fundamental wiring requires us to come down from our bliss and our grace and our highs. And I propose instead something akin to David Pierce's ideas of paradise engineering, of rewiring our hedonic set points and actually transforming subjectivity to engender a kind of godhood of mind pleasures and paradises beyond anything we can imagine. So after the ecstasy, more ecstasy. <laughs>